I'm really not sure why I show this fair use uh, FBI warning. Uh, YouTube does not honor the law. This is uh, several attempts for me to get this content uploaded. It's a joke. Well, here she is, Dolly Parton. I have to apologize for the low quality. I've uploaded content. I've been shut down immediately by YouTube for copyright. And so I've had to resort to uh, going around the algorithms and just taking a picture so you can get an idea. I'm, I'm sure most of you have seen this video. Um, of course, I have been uh, the absolute opponent uh, for King and Country. I absolutely claim that they are outright frauds building their own kingdom they're not building god's kingdom uh, well well how do you know drew well they when you resort to uh, retaining uh, a 70 year old plus harlot who has made her living on two big things you can imagine what i'm talking about uh, when you have to bring her in uh, to allegedly sing a song to god uh, you know that it's fraudulent you know that it's blasphemy and you know that it's mockery as we're going to take a look at Dolly Parton today and, and what on earth was for King and Country thinking uh, when they solicited Dolly Parton to come and sing alleged worship music to God. It's my contention that they are frauds. I dislike them immensely because they are mocking God. I stand as an enemy of for King and Country. Um, and and I'm, I'm going to be doing this uh, with no script today. I'm going to be sharing my feelings, and I know most of you don't like this because you have made for King and Country your idols, and they can do no wrong. And I've got to tell you, for a lot of you, you're going to be very surprised on Judgment Day when your delusion cannot hold you anymore, and God reveals to you that, yes, right under your nose, alleged Christian singers brought out an actual harlot and blasphemed God and mocked God, and you thought that it was okay. What sort of witchcraft has you trapped in this where, where you think that this is okay? The tightest of clothing, Julie. If there was ever a mental description of an actual Jezebel, it's Dolly Parton. And here she is now infiltrating Christian music, brought in no less by one of the most popular Christian bands in the world. And you're all okay with it. Now, many of you are saying that, well, you know, Dolly Parton, she's she sang songs about Jesus in the past, and this is true. But guess what? So have the Jehovah, Jehovah's Witnesses, so have the Mormons, so have the Seventh-day Adventists, and many other cults and frauds have all sung songs to Jesus. Does it make it true? Let me show you something. In the 15th chapter of Matthew, Jesus, while quoting the Old Testament, uh, he tells you what's going on. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Please discern what's happening here. In fact, the majority out there are doing exactly this. Uh, they honor Jesus uh, with their lips. Uh, they can say his name all day long. But where is the heart? And I've got to tell you, when you have to enlist the services of a harlot to sing a alleged praise song to Christ, there's something wrong with your heart, bro. You know, I wonder what For King and Country was thinking when they thought of, you know, getting Dolly Parton to collaborate with them on this latest song. Was it her appearance on the cover of Playboy? Maybe, maybe that was... Uh, you know, uh, Holy Spirit filled information that helped in their decision to employ her. Well, I don't know, you know, Dolly has a, a history of collaborating with artists like Katy Perry. Now, many of you know that she burst onto the scene with her hit song, I Kissed a Girl and I Liked It. And of course, she's on video confessing that she sold her soul to the devil. Um, you know, they run together. And of course, the, the ironic part of this picture is they're singing a song called Coat of Many Colors, which in clearly mocks a biblical story of Jacob and Joseph. Only in their version, their, their Coat of Many Colors are skin tight, and of course there's fishnet stockings involved because that's how they roll. Or perhaps it was Dolly Parton's Academy Award winning performance in a very uh, Christian-like film called Best Little Horror House in Texas. Oh wait, no it wasn't? No, no it wasn't. 
where she portrays the whore madam in charge of all the other whores. Uh, this was a inspiring role for King and Country, and at that moment, I think they, they decided, we've got to get this woman of God to sing on a song with us, right? And here you go again. What the what? What can I say? You know, I think it's safe to say also that there's not a, a celebrity in modern times that's been more emulated and imitated uh, by the drag community than Dolly Parton. Uh, incidentally, she loves it. Maybe with all that's going on with drag queen story time uh, taking over America, that um, that was one of the considerations. Hey, we need to get drag into our song. Perhaps for a king and country was thinking that. That might have been a factor. And by the way, Dolly Parton absolutely loves it. See, the bottom line is, even if you see all the different collaborations and the yokings and the fellowships between people who many of you say are Christian, uh, yoking up with people who are outright Satanists, the saddest thing to watch is you argue for that person as though this is somehow okay. But ultimately, if you really want to know the truth, you've got to go to Scripture. And the sad part is most people don't go to the Scripture. But if you're still with me, let's go to the Scripture and see what God says. The first one we'll take a look at is in Ephesians 5. Here it says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, for it is a shame to even speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Is there any mistake on what this says here? Our God, our Holy Scripture tells us to have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness. If you come over to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, scroll down with me. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Did you, did you read that? For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? It's very easy to understand if you choose to. And you see, that's what it comes down to with what you will eventually decide here. Do you choose to stand with God in righteousness? Or are you okay with fellowshipping with unrighteousness? See, many of you think like the Beatles thought. All you need is love, right? And that sounds good on the surface. But the fact of the matter is you need the love of Jesus Christ. That is, if you want to abide in Christ, if you want to be saved. Uh, otherwise, it's all in the world. And we know what happens in the end to people in the world. Love will not save you. Jesus Christ will save you. Many of you have a decision to make. Are you going to wake up to what's happening around you? Again, let's sum all of this up. Alleged Christian singers enlist the services of an actual harlot to come in and sing an alleged Christian song. Normally I wouldn't care, but so many people are being led astray by this, yes, this doctrine. It is deception. What kind of God are you serving? Are you serving the God of the Bible? Or are you serving the God that people like this are throwing at you? You know, if you come over to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, we get a very clear picture of what's happening. You scroll down, let's start in verse 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Do you understand that? This is what deceitful workers do. They transform themselves into the apostles of Christ. It's all about deception. But here, Paul goes on to tell you, it's really no big deal. It's not a marvel. For even Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed into the ministers of righteousness. Ask yourself this question. Are these guys ministers of righteousness? I mean, actual ministers of righteousness? Or are they the kind that 2 Corinthians is talking about uh, deceiving you into believing they are ministers of righteousness, actually working for Satan? Look at the evidence. <laughs> it's, 
To me, it's a no-brainer. I pray that you wake up. So I'm going to wrap up this video right here. And again, sorry for the poor quality. I'm forced to do this to get around the algorithms. Um, I wanted to just leave you with this. If you really want to see something disturbing with these two blokes, uh, they did a short documentary on the buildup and the video documentation of them uh, coming to the point where they meet Dolly Parton. And they're completely awestruck. And you can see they're giddy. Um, they're standing waiting for Dolly to come in right now. Uh, Captain Manbun here is uh, speaking, and he says uh, the amount of respect that he has for Dolly Parton, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, wow, the amount of respect that he has for an actual whore. It's just so telling. This is why uh, they are enemies of the cross. They are frauds. And I urge you to avoid them with everything in you. Uh, don't be pulled in to idol worship. For those of you that love Jesus Christ in all truth and sober-mindedness, God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon.